Feeling like the person you're crushing on is giving you the silent treatment can sting. One minute you're having great banter with the love interest of your dreams, and then suddenly, they go radio silent. Are they actually ignoring you? Are they ghosting you? Should you keep bombarding them with messages or give them some space? These are all valid questions we'll tackle in this article. Let's start with the question of whether they're really ignoring you. When your crush stops responding to your texts, it's easy to assume they're intentionally ignoring you. But that might not be the case. We all have different texting habits. Some people reply quickly, while others take their time. Some put their phones on silent when they're busy or prefer not to appear too eager by waiting a couple of days before responding. There's no one-size-fits-all rule for how often you should text someone you're interested in. It depends on both of your personalities and the dynamics of your relationship. However, if it has been a few days without a response, there are certain do's and don'ts to consider. Keep the conversation fresh and engaging. Don't dwell on past topics that have lost their relevance. It's time to pivot and start a new conversation. Asking open-ended questions that require more than a yes or no answer is a great way to elicit a detailed response. Simple questions like, what's been happening in your life, or inquiring about their interests and favorite activities can keep the conversation flowing. For instance, you could ask, any movies you're excited to see? This approach also paves the way for asking them out. Avoid being passive-aggressive. Sending messages like, I can see you're busy, won't help. In fact, it might push them further away. Instead, show genuine interest in their life. Ask about their weekend or how work has been going. Demonstrating authentic curiosity about them as a person is attractive and shows that you care. Give them physical space. If you've been suggesting meeting up, but they haven't responded, it's best not to bring it up again in your next text. There could be various reasons why they're hesitant, and it might not have anything to do with you. They might be genuinely busy, stressed, going through personal difficulties, or feeling anxious about meeting someone from online. They might need more time to get comfortable with the idea. Change the subject, keep it lighthearted, and continue building rapport until the right moment comes to ask them out again. Maintain a positive tone. It's essential to keep the conversation light and positive. While a touch of sarcasm can be fun, avoid complaining or making snide remarks most of the time. Inject some humor into your texts. Life can be stressful, and laughter goes a long way. Be kind, engaging, and create a relaxed atmosphere that makes them want to keep chatting with you. Remember that texting is not the be-all and end-all of your relationship. The ultimate goal is to communicate in person. Texting should be a means to build anticipation for face-to-face -face interactions. Use it as an opportunity to discover their interests and preferences. Ask about their favorite movies, music, or hobbies. This knowledge will help you plan future activities together that align with their tastes, increasing the chances of a successful connection. Use texting to uncover more about your love interest. Find out their preferred local spots or activities they enjoy. If they're into coffee, ask them about their go-to coffee shop in town. Knowing their preferences will make planning future outings easier and ensure you choose activities they genuinely enjoy. Remember that sending long paragraphs won't necessarily get them engaged. Pay attention to their texting style and level of engagement. Match their energy and adapt accordingly. Use vivid and descriptive language to make your texts more captivating. If you have a knack for writing, use it to your advantage and choose your words wisely. Now, let's address the situation when it feels like they're giving you the silent treatment. Being ignored is unpleasant, and it may feel like your love interest is intentionally shutting you out. However, it's crucial to consider that there might be other factors at play. You don't have the complete picture, and jumping to conclusions won't help. Giving them space can be a healthy approach. As the saying goes, if you love someone, set them free. If they come back, they're yours, if they don't, they never were. Allow them to do what they need to do. 
Focus on yourself during this time and let their actions reveal their true intentions. Avoid pressuring them or seeking answers about what went wrong or why they've stopped texting. It's unlikely to be productive, and it might push them further away. Remember, you deserve to be with someone who genuinely wants to be with you. If you tend to feel sensitive about being ignored, especially due to past experiences or trauma, be mindful of your reactions. Lashing out at the person will only create distance. Take a step back if you feel they're not as responsive as you'd like and avoid taking it personally. It's possible that their lack of communication has nothing to do with you. If you struggle with the fear of rejection and it affects your relationships and overall well-being, consider seeking help from a licensed therapist. They can help you explore the underlying causes of your fear and provide strategies for managing or overcoming it. Regain therapists are experienced in assisting individuals with communication issues and can support you in navigating your relationships more effectively. To sum it up, when someone you're interested in stops responding to your texts, it can be disheartening. But how you respond is crucial. Responding inappropriately may push them away even further. Remember that their lack of response doesn't necessarily mean they've lost interest. Various reasons can explain their behavior. If you're feeling confused or hurt by their silence, reaching out to a relationship counselor can help you move forward. However, by approaching the situation with patience, understanding, and effective communication, you can navigate through the uncertainty. Remember to give her space, keep the conversation engaging, and focus on building a connection beyond texting. If you find yourself struggling with the emotional impact of being ignored, seeking guidance from a relationship counselor can provide valuable insights and support. Thank you for watching, and may your future interactions be filled with open and meaningful communication.